Hello friends, Mr. Arneson here to introduce to you your next project. Our next project is going to focus on sculpture and we're going to focus on the communities or cultures of the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia First Nations peoples. We are going to look at creating a sculpture of a totem pole and totem poles originated with the tribes of the Pacific Northwest and parts of British Columbia, Canada. So here we go. Hello friends. To begin our project of creating our Pacific Northwest slash British Columbia First Nations totem pole, we want to take our tube and kind of squish it flat. So you want to fold it, and I get folded, squish it kind of flat. You don't need to have very strong folds in the edges, we just want it flatter because it's easier to work with if it is a flatter surface. So that would be the first step in creating our project. Hello friends, as I plan my drawing, I want to make sure that I am fitting at, at a minimum one, two, three different images of animals or native masks on my totem. So one, two, three at a minimum. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw mine out, but of course I'm not going to make you sit through the whole process of drawing it out. I'm going to put this through a time lapse to save time on the video. So. The next video you see will be the time lapse of me drawing out my design. one of the things that I did is I changed my wings for my body for my raven because I'm actually going to add some external wings on the outside of my raven so it's actually I'm going to cut some slits into my totem and his wings are actually going to stick out I think I've decided that that's an extra step you can take you don't have to but it's something I, I'm going to do and if you do it it'll earn you some extra bonus points
Friends, here is my completed First Nations totem pole. And again, this is from the Pacific Northwest area of the United States, as well as British Columbia, Canada. I'm going to attach the wings to my raven. The raven was one of their symbols that they used. Um, and actually, there's a story called The Raven Brings the Light to the World. And it's the story of the creation story of their people. Okay, so if you are using sharp objects, please make sure you have parental supervision. I'm going to try not to cut myself when I do this. Please don't cut yourself if you do this. I'm being very careful. I'm going to move my finger out of the way just in case. And I'm going to just kind of round this round this project out so it stands up a little bit on its own. Make it a little bit more round again after squishing it down to draw on it. I'm going to insert my raven wings where I have my slits cut. You could use tape, you could use glue to hold these in. That is up to you. You do not have to have these wings. You do not have to have anything three-dimensional. It is an optional thing that you can do for your project. I think I mentioned earlier that you could earn a few little bonus points if you do some more work to the project. Okay, plus it tests your creative skills, and that's another thing that we do here in art. So I've got it here. I'm going to take a picture of it standing so you can actually see it standing up. Hopefully it will stand. And that is our project for this week. So I encourage you to explore the cultures of the First Nations people. Look at videos on YouTube about these people and learn a little bit about their culture.